Alex Arthur Albert performing heroics out there. He's going to top you too here in a Williams. There's a place gain for Alexander Alban. Green light at the end of the pit lane. It is time for the second part of qualifying. It's really touch and go. It's, I think it's, if you were to go into, you would, you would do literally two time laps and you'd box four slicks. That's, that's the feeling. So it's either you just go out now and try and hold on or, or you start with the inter and then you change over. I think it's the right. I think Alban in the yes. Williams has taken that and he's gone on the soft tyre, which is a nice call. You can see there the dry line that uh, the Verstappen's on. It's the right tyre, it's just if it stays dry. Yeah, there's a couple of lots of comms on fitting slicks. There's a, uh, there's a really decent chance here for those on the slicks, and with six or seven minutes, there's not much time for everyone else to come in. So Alban has taken it and we'll keep an eye on his sectors. Alvin goes over the line with the fastest time. He asks for the slick tyre before anyone else in the field. He delivers the lap time. The lap times are good. Push again. Alex Alvin could book his place in Q3. He's got the tyre temperature. He's got the grip. He's got the fastest middle centre. What a gamble from Williams. What a gamble from Alexander Alvin. Faster than the rest of the field by a second. It's hard to know if I should risk more or not. Is it worth pushing? Negative. You're about two seconds above the cutoff at the moment. I love when a bold call gets its rewards, and that is what Albin in the Williams, he's got a top Q2 here in a Williams. Brilliant call from the driver, that's, that is. Sitting there after Q1, he's seen the conditions, and he thinks, you know what? If we want to get into the top 10 here, we're going to chance our arm, and he's done it brilliantly. These are our conditions. This is where we, I think as a race team, we are very good at. Um, we have to normally uh, make use of opportunities, and situations like this fall on our on our lap, so um, we're used to that kind of feeling. Can you hold on, do you think, to the top 10 I tomorrow? I would go forwards. Um, honestly, our race pace was actually quite good on, on Friday, so um, it's looking to be dry, at least yeah. from, from what I've yeah, seen. For the, for the fans as well, it's dry. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's see what happens. Good afternoon and welcome to the Canadian Grand Prix. Yesterday's rain has cleared. It is a new day. We have a dry track that really promises a lot with such a mixed up grid. Okay, let's so see. Everybody from sites in P11 to the front on an option. And then uh, 12, 13, 14, that's Perez, Magnuson, and Bottas. They're on the prime. And then Gasly on the quali. And the rest on options. And the Canadian Grand Prix is go! We're dueling in the background as well. Alban had a run, off the road goes Oscar Piastri. He rejoins correctly, but his momentum will be slowed. And there's an opportunity now. There's a place gain for Alexander Alban, who's up to 11th. Nice work, empty in the short term where you can. Back my son on 11 lap, older prize. It's another pass, that's Alex Alban going past. Uh, Magnussen, but he was off the road as he made it. Ducks back in, position lost, and Oscar Piastri says, hey, that happened to me a couple of laps ago. Thanks for the place back. Suggest Tor Kate to help front locking. The never-ending story continues, or is it about to be resolved by Alex Alban, who gets to a good car placement by Magnussen, but the effort might be done, and we have a pass over the line. Alban takes 11th place. We've got face in the car. But now it's all about managing tyres to the end. There's 33 laps to go. <sighs> I'm not sure. Albert's having a cracking race here. He's up in seventh place and he's got some good pace. He's still just set a personal best lap of the race on the uh, the lap before. So that's George, two and a half behind on same age tyres. The group that fitted Ocon Bottas Norris. They're another four or five seconds behind him. Here's our one-stoppers then, Alban and Russell, and they're being caught now by Esteban Ocon. Still not a great rate of knots. Ocon, Bottas and Norris all came in for a, uh, a later pit stop. I think we're in for some classic Albon defending. You got the straight line speed. That's a nice cheer up for Alex Albon. They know what he can do at Williams. He's had some decent points finishes from getting his elbows out and just defending as hard as he can. So you've got 16 laps to go, you're doing a great job. It's Russell that has the best chance behind Albon, because Albon, of course, doesn't have DRS. He's 17 seconds behind Perez. He's just got a very quick Williams in a straight line. Oh, Russell in the Mercedes finds himself being passed by the gaggle of cars. Ocon, next car back. 
still there in seventh, soaking up the pressure. He knows how to do it. He's been told he knows how to do it as well. Give him a bit of confidence. And with every lap that's ticking by, starts to realise this could be a cracking result for the Williams team. He will be cheered across the line by his team if he's able to stay in seventh position. Alexander Albon performing heroics out there. Max Verstappen wins the Canadian Grand Prix to give Red Bull their 100th victory in Formula One. And what a defensive drive from Alexander Elben, who gets his best finish of the season and just his second point scoring result. Get in there, P7. Oh. Wow. Yes. Yes, guys. It's the old classic defending. Just had to do it 30 laps to go, not 10. <laughs> really, really impressive drive. Great defending. Well done. Really earned your place today. The team definitely thought. Uh, stick me out there, as, as they always do. They like, they like to just <laughs> put me out in front <laughs> and uh, stay in front and defend for the whole race. Uh, I, I, I'm used to it now. I've, I've done that race many times at Williams. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was just one of them.